Hey, everyone at home, get your pencil and your paper <laughs> ready because it is time to take the pre-diabetes risk test. Pop quiz. All right, so here we go, Amy. She's going to go through each factor and we're gonna write down our answers, okay? Yeah, so as I go through, as you can see on the screen, there's seven different questions and you can tally your points and then at the end I'll explain them and then on the right-hand side, you'll be looking for your okay. height and your weight as well. So the first question is, how old are you? You'll go ahead and score yourself zero points if you're less than 40. 40 to 49 gives you one point and as you guys can continue and see, it's as you increase in age, your risk factor increases. So when we look at prediabetes, you're looking at modifiable versus non-modifiable. Unfortunately, you cannot change your age, right? Number two, are you a man or a woman? Point for a man and zero points for women. Again, you stay tuned, it continues for women, so it's not that they're out of the, the woods okay. yet, right? Number three, if you are a woman, have you ever been diagnosed with gestational diabetes? Giving yourself a point if yes and no points for zero. Number four, do you have a mother, father, sister, or brother with diabetes? It would be that family link or history, right? So a one point for yes and zero points for no. Number five, have you ever been diagnosed with high blood pressure? Give yourself a point for yes and zero points for, for a no. Number six, are you- Even if it was just an occurrence? If it's an actual diagnosis. Okay, no. Yeah. Okay. Number six, are you physically active? Zero points for yes, one point for no. And the last is what is your weight status? So I'll just use an example of a lady that is 5'5 five five and at 155 pounds, she would give herself one point. So you're scrolling across to see the weight okay. and at the bottom of it, it will show you the point system there. So again, I'll give you a second to tally up your points. Um, but if you've scored five or higher, that indicates you are at risk for prediabetes. And again, as I mentioned, some of these risk factors are modifiable versus non-modifiable, and we're obviously gonna hone in on the nutrition, the exercise, and the things that we can do to improve upon it. But some of the other risk factors right. that aren't mentioned here, smoking is a really big one. Mm -hmm. And also if you have different race or ethnicities that have higher levels in incidence. Which are? Yeah, so that's a good question. It's African American, the Hispanic population, Pacific Islanders, Native Americans, and some Asian Americans. A higher risk of diabetes for you that. You got it.